Hi everyone, so today I wanted to start a video showing you my Christmas cactus and Thanksgiving cactus coming into bloom and then going all the way through to flowering. So this one's my Thanksgiving cactus and this is a lot smaller than my Christmas cactus. This one has white flowers. It's currently the middle of October and I find that this is the time of year where both of them start to come into flower because the days are starting to get shorter. And for both Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus, that's what tells them that it's time to flower. The Thanksgiving cactus is called Thanksgiving cactus because usually that comes into flower a bit sooner. But I find with my actual Christmas cactus, it flowers for quite long. It can start from October and go up and still be giving me flowers at the beginning of March the following year. So you can see that with this Thanksgiving cactus, it's already got a number of buds starting to form in various places around the plant. I find that this usually gives me one or two rounds of flowers and then it stops. Like I said, with my Christmas cactus, it just keeps flowering and flowering when it gets to winter time. So here's a look at my Christmas and Thanksgiving cactus next to each other. And as you can see, my Christmas cactus is a lot bigger. I had this from a tiny little cutting from my mum about six, probably not even six years ago, about five years ago. And it was literally about three or four like segments big. And this is how much it's grown in that time. I find that the Thanksgiving cactus grows a lot slower for some reason. So as you can see, there's a few buds starting to form in various places around the plant. Now the Christmas cactus has pink flowers, a true Christmas cactus always has pink flowers. With the Thanksgiving cactus, there's so many different hybrids, that's why you can get that in such a wide range of colours. And the easiest way to tell the difference between having a Christmas cactus and a Thanksgiving cactus is just to look at the segments, or what some people call the leaves, but they're actually segments. So if you look at this Thanksgiving cactus, you can see that it's got quite pointy bits here. And here, whereas if you look at this Christmas cactus segment here, it's quite rounded and smooth. So you just look at those next to each other, you can clearly see a difference. So what I'll do is I'll do another update and add it onto this clip when the flower buds are starting to get quite large. And then I'll probably do another round of video clips once the flowers have started to open on the Thanksgiving cactus and also on the Christmas cactus itself. So about a couple of weeks have passed and as you can see the flowers on my Thanksgiving cactus are coming along quite nicely. This particular one has white flowers. And there's definitely two that are coming along pretty well. Over here we have my Christmas cactus. This flower here, this bud's probably the most developed so far but there is quite a few buds developing here and there. So I've got this bud here that's pretty well developed. Can see another one back there. There's quite a few all over really at different stages. But this one down here is probably the one that's going to bloom first. So it's now been about a week and a half since the last update and as you can see the first flower is now completely open. This is the only one that's open so far on the Christmas cactus. There's quite a few buds forming elsewhere, as you can see. And this normally does start flowering for me in November. Today's date is actually the 10th of November, and when it finishes blooming, varies quite a bit. But I remember one year I had it going all the way up until about March, start of March time. Which was quite nice because they're really pretty flowers. And it's just nice to have them flowering for so long. Thanksgiving cactus is still forming its buds at the moment, as you can see. That's the biggest one back there. So the next little update will be when that flower first opens on the Thanksgiving cactus. So a couple of more days have now passed and as you can see I've now got the second flower open 
there's one more flower back here that should be open by tomorrow and I've still got quite a lot more buds you can see a few back there and here's the flower on the Thanksgiving cactus and as you can see the outer petals have now started to open but the flower itself ha hasn't fully opened yet so I bet you by tomorrow this one will be open and I can give another little update clip to show you that I really love how shocking the pink is on this Christmas cactus flower and the shape of it's really unusual and unique as well I would have to say that Christmas cacti and Thanksgiving cacti are probably two of my favourite cacti out there just for the flowers alone I think epiphytic cacti in general I do find myself drawn to something really interesting about them I also love the fact that every year I always get loads of blooms on this plant and it continues to bloom for months as you can see there's quite a lot of buds at all different varying stages of development now, some of you may have seen the videos where I showed you cross pollinating this specific Christmas cactus and Thanksgiving cactus and then going on to sowing the seeds and I've done a couple of updates on those seeds see little seedlings and as you can see these are them today it's still too early to tell very well what they actually look like as adult plants but one thing I have noticed is that the segments at least at this stage they look longer and have more like bumps along the segment than on a Christmas cactus so if you look at the Christmas cactus here if you look at one of the segments this has only got like two bumps you got one there and then it comes to the end and then down here you've got just a little bit more so there's not much in terms of bumps along the sides of the segments but if you look at these and I know they're tiny so it's a bit hard to see but you can see that there's a lot more like bumps along the sides of the segments however these are only the very first segments on each of the seedlings so it could be completely different as they grow into adult plants this could just be how they are as babies so it's now the following day and as you can see the flower on the thanksgiving cactus has now opened this particular thanksgiving cactus has a white flower with a tiny little pink bit of pink right in the center You'll also notice that it's quite a different shape to the flowers on the Christmas cactus. That's one of the ways to identify the difference between a Christmas cactus and a Thanksgiving cactus. We've also got the third flower open up on the Christmas cactus as well. You'll have to excuse the lighting, it's been a very cloudy wet day today so it's been quite dark inside. We also have two more buds here that are quite large and I'm pretty sure that these will be open by tomorrow. This flower here is the first one that opened on the Christmas cactus that I showed you the other day. And as you can see it's still blooming, it's still alive. I'd say it'll probably start wilting by tomorrow though. So a few more days have passed and I thought this would be a good place to wrap up this video now. As you can see there's quite a few flowers open on the Christmas cactus. There's about three back there. This one's close to opening down here. Quite a lot of buds. All at various stages of development. Got a couple of flowers back here as well. And then of course the Thanksgiving cactus flower hiding back there. Looks like there's another Christmas cactus flower right next to that that's about to open. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, as always. Thanks for watching. Bye.